what is up guys it's me again arvin pakolaba back with you with another video and in today's video let's talk about the room where it happened by john bolton john bolton was the 27th national security advisor for the president of the united states he served under current u.s president donald trump he has since left his post and has come out with this new book first published on june 23 2020 by simon and schuster in this book john bolton talks in depth about his experience as an advisor in the trump white house he goes into detail about the decision making process the conflicts inner turmoil and dysfunction within and among Trump's Council of Advisors as it pertains to national security, international affairs, and foreign policy. So what can you expect when you go ahead and read this book? You will get a thorough explanation of events, rationale, and reasons for why the Trump White House has made the decisions it has made in the last four years from no less than a Trump White House insider and a very reasonable and articulate insider at that in John Bolton. Read about the Trump White House's relationships, dealings, and perceptions on countries like Iran, Syria, North Korea, China, Russia, NATO, and the Middle East, and so much more in this book. The Room Where It Happened is really an eye-opening deep dive into modern history as it relates to the Trump White House. And one of the best things that I like about this book, guys, is that this book is strategic, it is technical, it is operational in nature, and it is not a diss track type of a book. You know what a diss track is? Is when rappers release new songs about another rapper to create feuds and beefs and arguments among each other but this book is not that type of book another thing that i like about this book is that it is surprisingly not politically charged usually when books come out about the trump white house they tend to be over sensationalized polarizing too controversial and they tend to spew spite and vilify the trump white house some of the criticism are reasonable and well deserved but some are trashy to the extent of distasteful just to stir people up for the sake of stirring people up about the trump white house but this book the room where it happened by john bolton is not that type of book and i think one of the main reasons why john bolton decided to release this book is because of the media the news cycle where headlines get more eyeballs than the content of news itself people are more emotionally drawn to headlines without really digging deep into the context of the news item and this book explores that this book goes beyond what is being read or seen by the news headlines we as content consumers have very short attention spans and we tend to judge issues and current events off of the headlines and blurbs without really digging deep into the context of the news and this book is a longer alternative for that this book are for the people who want to explore the nuance of the controversies of the current events of the issues within the trump white house this is for the people with longer attention spans and for the people who really are nuanced in their thinking and are not phased by controversial and eye-dropping headlines if you want to know and understand more about the trump white house in a more level-headed type way then this book is best suited and well worth it for you as we all know guys politics is a very murky subject and i don't want to smudge this channel with too much politics but in this case this book is really not about politics 
if that is what you expect from this book. This book is really about policy, administration, the inner workings and decision-making processes within the Trump White House and how the Oval Office shapes the world in its entirety. So, bookworms, if you're a fan of modern American history, then this book is for you. But if you could not care less about that stuff, then skip this book altogether and find yourself a new one. If you like more book reviews like this, consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the notification bell icon so you'll be first on the scene in my future book reviews. See you on the next one. Peace.